They came from above and live among us in the trees, waiting. Then they unleash their terror. There is no escape from Attack of the Acorns in 3D Techno Panavision. We are under siege by acorns, hence the helmet. What happens is we'll be working in the garden and all of a sudden you'll hear one from the very top of the oak tree coming through the leaves and you'll stand still and bam, one will hit. And if you do get one in the noggin, you wish you had your brain bucket on. One thing about acorns, the deer absolutely love them and let's hope that they feast on those and not the plants we'll be putting in next. Let's get to work. Today we're starting off with what I think is one of the most important fall jobs, planting bulbs. Now it's not instant gratification, but you are going to be so glad <laughs> after you plant some bulbs today and next spring after another long endless winter, <laughs> you're going to have these beautiful spring bulbs. And what we're going to start with is a daffodil I just love and it's called Tahiti. It's a double daffodil. You know I love double anything. And we're going to use this power planter earth auger. I've been using bulb planting augers for a long time, but I fell in love with this one. Usually I was using one with this long shaft like this and you know, you're up like this. I love this. It's built like a tank and it's right down at the ground. And when we do plant bulbs, they just have to be about three times as deep as the bulb is. So if we take a look at a daffodil bulb like this, oh, that's gonna have two blooms. That's gonna be cool. We're just gonna go, okay, that's one two, three, so we'll just dig our hole. Good. Place our bulb in, and we've got how many? Eight of these to put in, and I've got lots of other stuff to plant too. All right, first daffodils are in place. When you're thinking about where you wanna put bulbs, they need to dry out during the summer. If we put daffodils here and then put impatience over them to mask that dying foliage, every time we water those impatience, we're drowning the bulbs underneath. So this is a nice sunny spot. Nothing else is gonna be growing on top of this. The bulbs are gonna come up then they'll dry out. But daffodils are not the only thing to plant. There's lots of other cool things to plant too and that's what's next. So we have planted daffodils and tulips and hyacinths and crocuses. Those are the big four, but there are so many other bulbs that you can get. Now this time of the year, I'm paying retail. I'm buying the bulbs that I want, but as the season progresses, we get all the way into Thanksgiving, bulbs become half price and you can plant as long as the ground is not freeze solid. Sometimes I'm planting bulbs all the way through January and the next bulb we're planting is called Glory of Snow. This is indestructible. It will form a beautiful colony after a couple years. The deer don't want it, and it blooms right after the crocuses. Now these are little bulbs. We don't have to go quite as deep, and that makes things a lot easier too when we're planting a bulb smaller. And I can't wait to see how these look in the spring. Look at these little guys, just tiny. And I'm just going to make a nice little bed for him here with this power planter. There's a plant marker from something I put here three years ago. <laughs> and in they go. And as I said, these are going to be absolutely indestructible. And over the years, we're going to have a carpet of beautiful blue flowers here. So take a trip to your local nursery and look around for some different things like these glorious snow, anemones, alliums, which are from the onion family. Again, something the deer don't like. There's lots of things out there you can grow, planting them right now to enjoy in the spring. All right, let's get into the vegetable garden. Well, I've been seeing these at nurseries. They're actually mustard greens. They're being sold as ornamentals, but I'm gonna plant them as a food crop. We are still battling a groundhog. You know how much I love planting cool weather crops, but I don't want to feed him or her. And these, I don't think the groundhog will eat. They're spicy. I love them for salads. So that's our next job, get in the vegetable garden and get these planted to last all winter long. Well, our cold frame is still filled with basil. Again, something the groundhog is not interested in. And when it gets cold, I'm going to close this up. Same thing is true for the mustard greens. They love cold weather and I love these big plants. 
We've got good soil in here. I'm just gonna drop them right in and dig another hole for them in the back. That is good soil. And we'll see if the groundhog likes them. I don't think so. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna get a few more of these when I get to the nursery next time because uh, like I told you, I love mustard greens. Mm. Those are gonna be good for a salad. All right, Mr. Bargain Hunter here. Oh, that is spicy. <laughs> Mr. Bargain Hunter here has found a shrub for half price. And that's one of the fun things about shopping in the fall. That's what's next. I'm gonna put some water on these. Woo! Oh, that's spicy. Well, you know me, I am Mr. Cheapskate. And I've always wanted to grow one of these. It's called a goji berry. And I first heard about them when I was at a trade show. And a guy from Germany was telling me they found a variety growing in the median and in the Audubon, you know? So it's like, it'll grow anywhere. It makes these great berries. They're supposed to be really good for you, like all the Hollywood people eat them. And they look really cool. They're really a cool red berry. And if I don't eat them, I'm sure the birds will. And so I've got a nice spot for it right here. Again, we got pretty good sun here for, for us. And the soil has been improved but nothing crazy because it'll grow anywhere. And all I'm gonna do is just drop it in this hole and we're good to go. Put some water on it and move to the next job. Well, I hope you had a great gardening season because mine has been absolutely wonderful and it's not over yet most of the time. This time of the year, my containers would be getting filled up with pansies because the annuals would be done, but it's been so warm. The annuals continue and they're going to stay in there until frost, but I've got to have pansies because again, they will go all the way at least till Christmas and beautiful bright colors. I'm mixing these purples with some yellow and man, I'm telling you, pansies will give you color well into winter and one of my favorite plants. And if you treat them right, if you water them all the way until this pot freezes, you might get them all the way through the winter to next spring. And that's what I hope for. You can't go wrong with yellow and purple, right? Well, as I said, it really has been a great season. A little dry there, but I got some rain. I hope you did too. Now get out there, get some bulbs, get some cool weather crops, trees, shrubs, perennials, pansies, they all can still be planted and you'll be so happy that you did. Now check me out online too. You can see my blog posts, more videos, more stories. And that's a place where you can join my exclusive Everybody Gardens Garden Club. I'd love to have you as a member, but you can also find all my favorite tools there like this power planter. Now until next week, I've got bulbs to plant, more pansies and lots of other things to do. I'm just gonna go out and have fun. We'll see you then. All right, let's try 50s newsreel guy. They came from above. You ready? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.